Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shijan. Today, I'm going to show you how to do factor quadratics. This is a quadratic expression. V squared minus 12V plus 35 is a quadratic expression. How would you factor this expression? With parentheses. To factor this one, V squared minus 12V plus 35, we need to figure out what two numbers multiply up to 35, but add to negative 12. Let's think about it. We have, well, seven times five is 35, but negative seven plus negative five is negative 12, and negative seven times negative five is 35. So the two numbers that multiply up to 35 but add to negative 12 is negative 7 and negative 5. How would you write that? Would be v minus 7 times v minus 5. That is how you factor a quadratic expression. Before I move on to the second example, please like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. To factor the second one, c squared minus 6c, we need to first figure out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is c. So we will have c times parentheses, now we need to divide. C squared divided by C is C. And then 6C divided by C is 6. So our solution in number 2 is C times C minus 6. Before I move on to the third example, if you haven't still liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. So we have k quartic plus 6k cubed plus 9k squared. How would you factor this one? I'm going to erase this to give space. So, same, we need to figure out the GCF, or the greatest common factor. In this case, it's k squared, because k squared can be divided by this k cubed and k squared. So we'll write k squared times, now we need to divide k quartic or to the fourth divided by k squared is k squared. Plus 6k cubed divided by k squared is 6k. In other words, 6k times k, which is 6k squared, and 6k squared times k is 6k cubed. Nine k squared divided by k squared is nine. So after we factored the GCF, we have k squared times k squared plus 6k plus 9. We still need to factor this expression. So k squared plus 6k plus 9. Same thing as the first problem. What two numbers multiply to give us 9, but add to give us 6? They are 3 and 3. So plugging k squared into there, we're going to have k squared times k plus 3 times k plus 3, which we can write as k plus 3 squared. So our solution in number three is k squared times k plus three squared. Let's erase and move on to the next example.
All right. Let's say we have two g squared minus four g minus sixteen. How would you factor this one? Same thing here. We need to find the GCF, which is two. So two times g squared, 2g squared, divided by 2 is g squared. Negative 4g divided by 2 is negative 2g. So it's minus 2g. And negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. Let's factor this expression inside the parentheses. What two numbers multiply to give negative eight, but add to get negative two? Let's think about this. Well, we have four and two, but we will use negative four and two because negative four times two is negative eight and negative four plus two is negative two. So it's going to be two times g minus four times d plus two. So two times g minus four times g plus two is our solution in the final example. That is how you factor quadratics. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I have a lot more math videos coming. Thank you and bye.